In the last video, we have seen Euler's equation of motion in 3D rectangular Cartesian form. So, in this video, we'll see Euler's equation of motion along streamline. So, let's have a streamline and a fluid element along the streamline, which has the length ds, and this is a positive z direction. And we can have cross sectional area dA. So, the force acting on one side of the element is PDA. So, on the other side, we have some change in that. So, PDA plus dou by dou S of PDA times dS. The weight of the element is acting downwards due to gravity and it can be given as W equals to rho volume times G, the gravitational acceleration. And it's making theta with the orientation of the element. We can have a small triangle describing the element. This is dS, this is dz and this is theta. So, we can write dz equals to ds cos theta. We can also write volume of the element as dA times dS. Using Newton's law of motion, we can write summation of f equals to mas in streamline coordinate. The left hand side we can solve for as summation fs equals to pda minus in bracket pda plus dou by dou s pda times ds. Bracket close minus rho volume g times cos theta. So, in these two things we need to understand weight component of element in streamline direction as negative. The direction in upside of the streamline is taken as positive and downside of the streamline is taken as negative. That's why we have this negative PDA dou by dou S PDA dS. After simplification we get minus dou P dou S times volume minus rho volume G times cos theta. Right hand side of the equation we can write MAS equals to rho times v which is mass times v dv ds plus dv dt which is acceleration in Eulerian approach. v dv ds is convective acceleration plus dv dt is local or temporal acceleration. If we assume flow to be steady that is independent of time does not depend on time. So, this dv dt term in acceleration will be zero. We get ms equals to rho volume times v dv ds. Therefore, after putting these two terms into equation, we get minus dou P dou S times volume minus rho volume G cos theta equals to rho volume times V dV dS. And this cos theta from the triangle we can have here as dz equals to dS cos theta, cos theta will be dz by dS. After putting the value of cos theta and simplifying, we get dou P by dou S times volume plus rho volume G dz by ds plus rho volume v dv ds equals to 0 and further simplification yields dou p plus rho g dz plus rho v dv equals to 0 and after dividing by rho g we get dou p by rho g plus dz plus v by g dv equals to 0. This is the equation that we wanted to have and this is always equation of motion along streamline. This particular equation is very important in differential form. If this equation is integrated, we get integration of dou p by rho g plus integration of dz plus integration of v by g dv equals to integration of 0. So, after taking integration, we get p by rho g plus z plus v square by 2g equals to constant. As derivative of constant is 0, integration of 0 would be some constant. And this is very important equation that we have got here. This equation is known as Bernoulli's equation, which is very useful. One thing to note that is uh, this equation, which is Bernoulli's equation can also be termed as equation of energy. In this equation, there are three terms. Generally, these terms represent energy and the way they are written here in this form is in the form of energy head. So, this first term is P by rho g which is called as pressure head which is given in the unit of meters. Z is potential or datum head which is again in meter. V square by 2g the third term is kinetic head which is again in meter. We are having the terms not in the unit of energy but energy head. So, energy head can be defined as energy per unit weight. Energy has a unit of Newton meter and weight has a unit of Newton. So, we get energy head in unit of meter.